Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at New Belgium Snapshot, introduced in 2014. This beer is 5% alcohol, same as Budweiser or Coors, for instance. 13 international bit bitterness units. We are here at Mathern Supermarket, Laplace, Louisiana. This beer uses pale wheat malt. They use a unusual blend of sour wort and regular wort. They use Cascade for the hops and they add lactobacillus, lactobacillus to make lactic acid. <laughs> So, beer with bacteria added. They also add coriander and grains of paradise or alligator pepper. And it's 182 calories, so it's not a light beer. It, get, it, get, it, get, it gets a good score in Beer Advocate, the bros say good. Only a 55 out of 100 rate beer, but an 86 out of 100 for the style. So that means they don't really like uh, wheat beers. I don't really like wheat beers either, but I do drink them or try them pretty often. And some are good. Um, Fort Collins, Colorado. Snapshot. Uh, for some reason, they decided to put this camera on here. <laughs> I remember when this came into the store a few weeks ago. Let's check it out. Take a taste now. I don't know if there's anything at the bottom. I think it would be a really thick head on a in a wheat glass, but I'm just taking a taste. I'm not drinking it in the store. Well, it's very hazy and it's yellow. Yeah, it, it looks yellow on video. It ain't golden. It's yellow and bubbly. I was going to say it reminded me of, of a beta wheat beer, a beta wheat lager, but that beer was a little more golden. Let's go with the aroma. Well, it's very faint, but I might be picking up a little bit of a beer aroma, but it's not much of a smell here. You know, some of those wheat beers would just be full of aroma, like that hop they used to sell here. Not a bad smell. It's stinging my nose a little bit. Let's go with the flavor, however. Um, there's a lemony note, a certain bready note. Tastes like sunbeam bread. might be some coriander and the alligator pepper but it's very 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 faint and that's good that's a good thing because usually the wheat beers are so bland dull and you could say awful that they got to pour in the coriander and pour in the grains of paradise and pour in all this other stuff to give it some kind of flavor this one might have enough heft on its own to not have to be uh, carried along Is there any lactic acid? Is there any milkiness? Maybe. But if I hadn't read that on their website, I wouldn't have said that. And this doesn't really have that noticeable tap water thing that you get with the wheat beers, or that I get. I'll say that so many times. I don't get that with regular beer. Oh yeah, there's definitely... <laughs> oh, there's some junk in the trunk. There's stuff at the bottom here. But I'm not getting, and I think that could change the flavor. Uh oh, it's dripping. Don't drip. Don't trip. Here we go. Now I gotta clean up. Clean up from the beer aisle. 
Oh, it got hazier. Now let's see if the, it got tastier. Yes. Definitely. So you want to swish the bottom and pour it in because now I'm getting that lactic acid that Oh, if you have milk and it starts to go bad or turn, you know, it starts to get sour, that's what it tastes like. But that will make you gag, you know, but this is not doing that, but it does have that. Uh, I don't know if that's what New Belgium is going for. They might want to say that on their packaging. Tastes like turned milk. I don't know how that would, if that would help the sales, but... Uh, A little bit of spice. The mouthfeel is medium, it's soft, and the finish is not dry. It's sort of a wet finish, and it's easy going, and it's refreshing. Well, some new Belgian beers I don't like, or I didn't like initially, like the, the rampant IPA it had, like somebody described it fleshy hops, and I said, yeah, that's what it tastes like. <sighs> it wasn't good. But the new Belgian Abbey Ale was really terrific, and this one is good. It's very good. I'll give it a B plus. It has character. It may not be character that you like. You might even be able to get the same flavor that if you have some milk that turn and you get a wheat beer and you take a little bit of like a little bit on a teaspoon, just a little bit, you pour it in the beer and mix it, it might taste the same. I don't know, I wouldn't recommend that. But it might cloud up and look like that. Anyway, it's really weird. Well, it's not really weird these days, right? In the craft beer world, I guess anything goes. Uh, maybe we'll have some uh, caramel popcorn beer or uh, Vienna, Vienna sausage beer or something, you know. But anyway, Les Le Bon Temps Roulé, this is a very good beer. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to Mathurns and check out their growing and very interesting beer selection.